Well, so far, I've just dealt with some very basic things, basically how to breathe through the harmonica. And now, I want to show you very specifically how to hold the harmonica. Because it's not obvious, and you have this, this shape, and there's a lot of different ways that a person could hold the harmonica. A lot of people first pick it up like this. And some people pick it up like this. Some people pick it up in, with one hand. And there's also the left and right issue with the harmonica. I do know a few left-handed harmonica players who play it what I would consider upside down. But 98% of harmonica players play it with the low end, the lowest notes on the left, just like a piano would have, and the high notes up on the right. In order to do this, especially if you're right-handed. The idea is you hold the harmonica itself in your left hand. And when you're holding it in your left hand, there's several different ways you can do it. I personally hold it this way. And I have very long fingers, but I also have very thin fingers. Some of you might have fingers that are fatter or fleshier, which won't work to your disadvantage at all because you'll get a more airtight seal around the bottom of the harmonica. But what I do is I hold it in my left hand so that there's lots of room for my lips to be over here. Because remember what I said to you is that don't be afraid to put your lips over the harmonica. Because in reality, not only will it get the wetter part of your lips on the instrument, but it'll get your tone fuller. If you get your lips further over the instrument, your tone gets richer as well. So you got to leave enough room. So my index finger is on top of the harmonica, my thumb is underneath. And I have the side of the harmonica sticking out here. Some of you might want to have the side of the harmonica more here. I have it this way because it gives me more room for my lips. So I hold the harmonica to my mouth. And you'll notice that one thing that happens, I'm not even using the right hand yet, that it changes the tone. It softens it a little because the tone is running out along this arch on the bottom of your hand. And you'll notice that depending on how you hold the harmonica, the tone of the instrument can be changed drastically by how you hold it. Then now we have time, now the time has come <laughs> for the right hand. Now this is a little bit unnatural and it's a little tricky at first, but basically you have to form what amounts to a hinge between your thumbs. This is what goes on. The right thumb goes underneath the left thumb. And the right hand at this joint over here runs into the end of the left hand fingers, fingertips. And so you're making this shape. And you see that when I hold it up like this, my hands are pretty much totally closing off the harmonica. And you think, boy, this is kind of an odd way to hold an instrument to have it closed because it gives you the option. Remember I said that the thumbs form a hinge. You can open that hinge and close that hinge. This is a very valuable thing to be able to do. I'll show you why. Because when you're playing the harmonica, your hand can add a lot of expression as well as color the tone. And one of the, the things that's very, very typical for older style folk music and things that you might have heard in cowboy movies is this hand vibrato. You keep your thumbs together and just you can just play any old thing. You can just blow, draw, chords, two notes, three notes, one note. It's called campfire style harmonica. And there's a lot of different, everybody sounds a little different when they do this kind of stuff. That's one of the beauties of our instrument is the, the instrument is kind of a glorified reed holder and everybody who plays it 
depending on the shape of their mouth and the size of their hands, sounds different. I could, I could hand this har same harmonica to any one of you or any one of a number of professional harmonica players. This, with the same harmonica, it all sound different doing this. There's a lot of nuances of how to do hand tremolo. Hand vibrato, call it whatever you want. You can even get a sort of a wah-wah sound. I'm not saying any of that with my mouth, although it kind of, uh, as you listen, it almost makes you involuntarily want to say wah-wah along with me. I'm blowing one steady stream of air. You could hear where the wah-wah pedal came from with electric guitars. They probably got the idea from listening to some harmonica player. You can do this thing fast. You can do it slow. Change the speed of it. It's a form of expression that has many different variations.